Hey guys, how's it going? It's Peter Day here. Um, I'm not sure how the quality of this video is going to come out because it's a little windy here. I am out on this lake. Um, I'm out on a lake in New Hampshire. Um, Fourth of July weekend here and I just wanted to make this um, video to just share some of my thoughts on kind of work and play and for us um, my brother and I have always worked really hard but I think it's really really important to get those breaks and have fun right and so we're just out here in um, New Hampshire and we have this setup um, which I think is a pretty clever invention so we have this um, kayak but then what we got was we got this floating dock thing here so we have my daughter on this floating dock so what we do is we go out on the lake and we kayak out which is pretty easy the launch is just kind of through that um, channel right there and then we have this floating dock thing that we chill on and we're basically out here boating with the boaters um, Maybe someday we'll get a boat soon, but honestly, this is just as good as boating, if not um, even a little better, because this thing floats. Um, this thing floats really, really well, and you can kind of. A lot of people. Um, last weekend we had my mom, my dad. We had the whole family on this, and you, it works super well. But I wanted to make this video um, just to talk about these things because. Working hard is important, but you have to find that balance of working not too hard, right? It's just sometimes it is a fine line because for us, um, trust me, we work really hard. I mean, I personally work really hard in my business. I would say most days I've been working from about 8 or 9 in the morning until like midnight, like every day, Monday to Friday. So I've probably been busting out like 14, 16 hour days, like almost as like the normal throughout the week but then on the weekends we like to have a ton of fun and really unwind right so um, we're into the boating in the summer <laughs> boating whatever you want to call this kayak floating um, it is super enjoyable though it really really is um, find out what you like to do and just do it um, and what I like to do is I've been liking to work really hard during the week and on the weekends, I'd like to just pretend like the work doesn't even exist, you know, just have fun because there's been so much things going on, you know, Facebook ads and this and YouTube ads and there's been always things going well, but then there's always things that have been going wrong, you know, Facebook campaigns breaking, the costs being too high, clients wanting more leads, clients wanting less leads and, um, you really have to just take a break sometimes and just detach from the craziness. Otherwise, it could just be um, too stressful. So find out the things that you like and just do it. And um, here's the thing, though. When we first started our business, though, we were sacrificing a lot more, though. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get this mohawk thing. Um, when we when we started our business, though, we, we didn't actually relax. Um, we didn't relax that much when we started our business we my brother and I were working like 12 hour days 14 hour days and we did not even take the weekend off it was literally like I was working 16 hour days um, even even on the um, the weekend right so for me a big step up was even taking the weekend off um, so taking the weekends but you know it's kind of a progression I was reading a book lately on the plane I went to Vegas and I went to a conference lately and I was reading this book about leadership and they said what you want to do is you want to be working your way out of a job right so maybe maybe at first right at first I was working seven days a week right and then I've kind of worked my way out of that and now I work five days a week I think the next step is maybe to ultimately work our way out of the five days a week but this is going to be done with a team it's going to be done with a lot of skilled talent and what I'm really training my team how to do lately too is I'm really training my team to be teams within the team so like for example media buyers and this is a huge paradigm shift here media buyers in our company um, they used to kind of be loan ships, right? Where they would run their ads and um, things like that. And they've always done really well. But what we're focusing on now is actually building our media buyers to where they have a team underneath themselves, like teams within the team, right? So imagine instead of a media buyer just kind of coming up with the creatives, running their own ads um, all by themselves, what we're training our media buyers how to do now 
is literally have businesses underneath themselves to where our media buyers have copywriters, video editors, um, ad launchers. What this enables our media buyers to do is basically to have a business um, within the business, right? So with stuff like this, that's just of huge, huge value um, and expansion. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to make those thoughts. I got to run now. I hear my daughter kind of wanting me and it's not fair to make a video for too long when we're supposed to be out here having fun. But I was just thinking that I hadn't made a YouTube video um, in so long that we might as well get one out and just check in with everyone. And um, let's keep following up. We'll, I'll do a YouTube video here probably in the next month, couple weeks, um, just sharing some more value. You can always reach out to me, um, Peter Day at OptimizeToConvert.com. If you have any questions, um, anything you need from us, you could also reach out on um, on Skype. So Peter Day 3640 on Skype, guys. So reach out. Let me know if you need anything. I hope these videos um, get a huge value. Sorry, I'm just trying. My daughter's whining. I'm just telling her, be quiet. I'm just trying to record the last second of this thing. So guys, I need a run. Um, have a great 4th of July weekend, and we'll talk in a bit, all right? Thanks. Bye. Hey, guys. Peter here. We're just coming back from the lake trip now, but I wanted to continue the video though, because I felt like I was just starting to get cooking on something um, of value there, and we kind of got um, cut it off and stuff, but I wanted to keep following up on this topic of building the media buyer team bigger and better, so I don't know why it took me so long to figure this out, but what I'm starting to realize now is that a media buyer team is better when the media buyers are regarded as their own independent kind of like franchises in a sense. So here's what I mean by this. So in the past, our media buyers were just independent people, right? Like they were just like when, when we had six media buyers, for example, it was just six people and it was like they had to do the ads, the landers, the launching and all of this stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, we've obviously had um, success over like our career doing that, but I, it's this light bulb moment happened a few weeks ago where I said, wait a second, it, this is gonna be so much more powerful if our media buyers could actually just be leaders of their own media buying um, teams. So basically, so here's what this means. So let's say, let's say you have five media buyers, you know, John, Alex, whatever their names are, right? The conventional way is to just have Alex run his ads and stuff, right? But the here's the issue with this model is that a media buyer can only do, um, they can only handle so much. I mean, in my personal experience, media buying myself and managing media buying teams, um, I mean, a media buyer can only handle like, I don't know, like two to four really high volume complex campaigns or something. What what I've seen happen over and over again is that if the campaign is more involved or um, the campaign is high volume or there's a lot of nuances or something, I've seen media buyers get very, very boggled down only handling like two or three verticals. But the issue with that is the there's so much time and detail and attention put into hiring media buyers, at least the, the way we've been doing it, because um, we we only hire people that are extremely radically talented. If someone is mediocre, they just have like no fit um, whatsoever in our company. Like we set the standard really high, so it's been taking us super super long to hire. When we do hire, we've only hired superstars and things like that, and um, Here's the thing though, so if, if we spend like six months hiring the perfect media buyer or something and then the media buyer gets really busy just handling two or three verticals or at the same time and can't do anything else, like that's an issue because it took a long time to get these media buyers in the first place, right? So what we've been thinking lately is like how do we get our media buyers to just produce larger um, numbers and I really believe the answer and I'm already starting to see the answer answer come to fruition the, the answer is to have your media buyers be regarded as just leaders of their own media buying team so 
we have one media buyer right now who's pioneering this strategy. So basically how he's operating is he, he personally is considered our media buyer, but then he has different departments underneath himself. Like he has video editors, he has copywriters, he has people that help him launch his ads, he has people that help like manage his campaigns, keep an eye on them. I think he might even have like multiple video editors at this point and I've seen a huge difference between his production and other people's production and this is it, this has nothing to do with any kind of deficiencies of other people too it's just, I really feel like this team um, mentality is is so important because the, the media buyer that I'm talking to here has now become our mass media buyer and his numbers have been by far better than um, other people on our team and again it's not to bash other people on our team I think what other people on our team need to do is step up to this leadership position where they're not just an island, that they're not just a um, uh, just a media buyer that handles two or four things. It's it's being a leader of your own division, right? So um, the media buyer that I'm talking to about right now, basically his structure is it's him overseeing everything. He's writing scripts, he's making image ads, he's running his own Facebook ads and it's obviously all, all, everything I'm talking about is all internal by the way I'm not talking about brokering things like this is in internal media buying all of this that I'm talking about here um, so this but then this media buyer has and it, it doesn't even have to be like the highest level people so he's got like his sister his cousin his brother he has all of these different people on his team helping out I'm telling you his sister's doing video ads He's got like his cousin writing copy. He's got some other person helping him launch ads, pause ads, keep an eye on ads. He's basically got this mini team underneath himself. And I feel like this is just hardly scratching the the surface of what's possible with this mentality. So imagine, imagine if you have a media buying team of six media buyers and then each of those six are a leader of their own media buying division. Imagine if all six of your media buyers had video editors underneath themselves, copywriters, ad launchers, um, people that were keeping an eye on their ads, people that were split testing landers, people that were building landers. Next thing you know, these media buyers become absolute powerhouses. And um, I'm telling you guys, I've been very sparse with these YouTube videos. I've only made one of these YouTube videos, like who knows what, every, every month, every two months, I've been super sparse. Whenever I've made a YouTube video here on the channel, it's because I've had some gra groundbreaking idea or breakthrough or something. So when we do post a video, take it seriously because there's usually just a huge amount of value um, just placed into these videos. And that's why I wanted to finish it, right? Like I recorded the first part on the, um, on the lake and then I said, wait a second, there's a lot of value here to actually discuss. This isn't about just like showing that we're having fun on the lake. There, there's a ton of um, stuff on our mind to train about as well. Um, so um, going back to this this strategy, right? So we have this one media buyer that's that's really pioneering this technique. I don't, I don't even consider himself arrived when it comes to mastering this. I mean, he's just basically started this team and the, the numbers are astronomical. I mean, this this one media buyer alone has been doing like 90 grand a day of revenue. The one, he's been, it's crazy. Like this one media buyer has been like, I, it, whatever, one, two, three million dollars a month or something of monthly revenue, this one media buyer. Imagine if we can get all of our media buyers having this mindset and infrastructure of teams underneath themselves it could be astronomical. So let's say let's say that one media buyer conservatively with a team of departments and asset builders and whatever you want to call it. Imagine if one media buyer like that can produce produce let's say conservatively 100 grand a day of revenue. And I'm telling you this is conservative numbers because a media buyer in the past maybe was able to produce like 10, 20, 30, maybe 40 grand a day of revenue single-handedly, but this new team within the team thing is such a breakthrough that um, I really believe that media buyers on our team are going to be able to produce over 100 grand per day um, independently, okay? So let's say that a media buyer conservatively is able to do over 100 grand a day with the team within the team model. What that means is all you need is like six media buyers doing this, and then you'll be doing over 600 grand a day of revenue. And then if you get 10 media buyers doing it, then you'll be over a million dollars a day of revenue. And guys, I'm not 
I'm not just making up these numbers and it's not fantasy. Like we've actually started to see some big revenue days of, um, you know, north of 200 or so grand a day of revenue with this technique. Um, it's, I'm telling you, we're onto something here. Um, we're going to keep building upon it. So, I mean, what we plan to do is, um, maybe I'll make a YouTube video again in a month or two, but at this point we're just going to work. So we're, we're starting to just, um, just really refine what we're doing here and hone it in because we really believe we're onto something. But the breakthrough recently has been teams within the teams. And, um, I highly recommend if you're watching this video that you start implementing this for your own business. Um, one more thing too, um, if you're watching this video, you want to, if you want to be a media buyer for our team, you can at the very minimum, um, get on the wait list. I mean, I hate to sound corny about it, but there actually is a wait list for being a media buyer for our company. We have someone on the wait list for like August, um, of this summer. And then anyone else that reaches out, we would considering hiring maybe in the fall or late fall or something like that. Um, not to say that to discourage you, if you are watching this video and you would like to consider becoming a media buyer in our company and, um, it's obviously a big undertaking. It's extremely lucrative. We pay a small base salary plus a pretty generous commission has been our model. Um, we've had media buyers regularly make over 60 grand a month, like on to their cut. It's, it's, it, it's a good position. I really believe, um, we haven't had a media buyer actually make over $1 million a year yet single handedly, but we have had media buyers. We've had media buyers make like 500 grand, maybe like 600 grand or something a year of, um, money like on their, um, cut. But where I really believe this is heading is I really believe we can get this, um, down to a science and really dialed in to where, media buyers can earn over a million dollars, um, a year with us, like w in the position. And I, I don't want to, I, maybe I need to make a disclaimer cause this is on YouTube or whatever. I obviously not every media buyer, every, not every media buyer might, they might not all do that. Right. But it's, um, it's obviously a possibility and that's, that's where we're heading, right? It's kind of like, um, you just kind of got to follow the vision, follow the leader and usually we've been really good at following through like if we put our heart to something it's generally happened and i'm telling you i we're not making up these numbers we're not talking fantasy i really believe that we can build this so well and so dialed in um to where media buyers even at their um 20 percent profit share can make over a million dollars a year of income um for themselves and is it going to happen as loan ships i don't it might not where i believe it's going to happen easily is if there's the team within the team um, mindset implementation and reality i'm telling you a media buyer is going to be able to produce so much revenue and profit if they have a division underneath themselves, video editors, landing page creators, copywriters, split testers, ad launchers. This is how a media buyer is able to handle 10 to 20 verticals simultaneously, 10 to 20 offers or whatever it is simultaneously. It's, it's the team within the team. And I'm not sure why other people haven't really been talking like this in the affiliate community, but um, we kind of self-discovered this recently and it's obviously a huge breakthrough. So guys, I'm going to run. I hope this found immense value. If you want to consider being a media buyer on our team, we're actively hiring, we're actively building. There's just a little bit of a wait list. The, again, it's like the next person we're considering for August, the next person we're considering for like October or something. And it, it's, um, but if you want to get in line, if you want to get interviewed, if you want to get at least on the consideration list for this media buyer um, positions, um, shoot me a Skype message. It's always good just to hit me up on Skype. Peter Day 3640 is my Skype name. Um, I prefer Skype. If you want to email me, my email is just Peter Day at optimize to convert com. Reach out if you're interested in the media buying position and um, we'll talk soon. Guys, have a great weekend. Have a great 4th of July. And I hope this served you very well. At the very minimum, take this information, apply it towards your business and start getting some huge 
um, breakthrough as well. So this is Peter, and we will talk soon. All right, bye.